Hello, my name is Riccardo Masson and I'm a child neurologist at Carlo Besta Neurological Institute Foundation in Milan, Italy. This podcast is to present our paper on oral pharmacological treatments in dyskinetic cerebral palsy, published in the December issue of Developmental Medicine in Child Neurology. Dyskinetic CP is characterized by the presence of involuntary, disorganized and often stereotyped movements associated with a fluctuating muscular tone. It may be further defined as predominantly dystonic or choreotetotic. Although data on the efficacy of new treatments for movement disorders such as intratecal baclofen, botulinum toxins and deep brain stimulation have progressively increased in the past two decades, evidence on the efficacy of the first-line oral medication still remains unclear. We conducted a systematic review of the literature by searching through the major scientific databases. 16 articles met the inclusion criteria, but only 8 of them were scored more than 3 for level of evidence. 8 studies were on triexifenidide, 2 on levodopa and 1 on tetrabenazine. No studies were found on other commonly used drugs, such as oral baclofen. The consistency between studies was low owing to differences in inclusion criteria, primary and secondary endpoints, and measures of outcome. The inconsistent inclusion criteria are the consequence of a poorly shared classification of the clinical phenotypes composing the umbrella term of dyskinetic cerebral palsy. This is a core issue because corotetotic components and dystonic features could respond differently to medications. At the same time, the endpoints were not always clear and none of these studies explicitly refer to ICF. Finally, valid and reliable disease-specific scales for the evaluation of dyskinetic features in CP were not available until recent years. Limited duration of treatment and inadequate dose have been a common limitation in the detection of possible drug effects. In conclusion, although some suggestions can be drawn by these studies, the available evidence does not support any therapeutic algorithm with a hierarchical order of recommended drugs in the management of dyskinetic CP. Further randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled pharmacological trials, optimized for different age groups and the theology of the disorder, and based on valid, reliable and disease-specific rating scales are strongly needed. In order to assess effects not only at the body structure and functions levels, but also at the activities and participation levels, primary and secondary outcome measures should be selected within the framework of the ICF. Thank you very much for your attention.